This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes, creators of the world's best repair manuals. Fix your car or truck the right way with our accurate and reliable information at your side. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete online manual at Haynes.com. Alternator replacement, Ford Ranger. Pull the hood release lever located underneath the steering wheel. Lift the hood safety latch and raise the hood upwards. Support the hood with the prop rod. Loosen the cable clamp nut, then disconnect the negative battery cable from the terminal. Secure the cable aside to prevent accidental reconnection. Remove the cover mounting bolts, then lift off the air intake and throttle body cover. Loosen the intake tube hose clamps at each end. Disconnect the crankcase ventilation hose from the intake air tube. Then remove the intake air tube. Disconnect and remove the crankcase ventilation hose from the valve cover. Disconnect the alternator electrical connectors. Peel back the protective cover, then remove the nut securing the battery positive cable to the alternator. Disconnect the cable from the alternator and position the harness aside. Note how the drive belt is routed among the various pulleys. To remove the drive belt, rotate the tensioner pulley counterclockwise, then slip the belt off of an accessible pulley. Slowly rotate the tensioner to its stopping point. Remove the belt from the various pulleys and out of the engine compartment. Detach the wiring harness clip from the alternator. Remove the alternator mounting bolts. Remove the alternator. Install the alternator onto the mounting bracket, then thread in the mounting bolts. Tighten the alternator mounting bolts to the specified torque setting. Attach the wiring harness clip to the alternator bracket. Connect the battery positive cable to the alternator. Screw on the cable nut and tighten it securely. Secure the terminal with the protective cover. Connect the remaining alternator electrical connectors. Connect the crankcase ventilation hose to the valve cover. Loosely install the drive belt onto the pulleys in the correct routing. Rotate the tensioner to allow the belt to be slipped onto the remaining pulley. Then release the tensioner, applying tension to the belt. Inspect the belt at each pulley and make sure that the belt is fitted evenly into all the pulley grooves. Install the intake air tube to the filter housing and throttle body. Connect the crankcase ventilation hose to the intake tube. Tighten the hose clamps securely at each side, but avoid over tightening them. Install the throttle body cover. Tighten the cover bolts securely. Connect the negative battery cable to the terminal and tighten the cable clamp nut securely.